it down. Oh, it sure is. Wasn't that a nice deer? Let us film her. That doe, that was wonderful. There were some, there were three section hikers at the Wilson Creek Shelter last night with me. They're hiking southbound. I was the only one hiking northbound. So glad I made that mileage yesterday. Today the goal is 20.8 to Bryant Ridge Shelter, which is just before a big climb. But, bad weather day potentially today with a lot of rain and possibly some storms so i've gotten my pack all hooked up for rain i'm ready for it and we'll just play it by ear shelter to shelter today i'm using my raincoat and my green pack cover and because there is a potential for heavier rain i am using my blue terra hiker finally I haven't used it in a while, but I uh, think it's worth using today. I just don't want to be wearing it right now because it's going to be way too warm, but I could put it over myself if I need to. We get to see the Blue Ridge Parkway today. First time stepping foot on the Blue Ridge Parkway on the Appalachian Trail. Good morning. It is Stick the Eagle here, and we are hiking northbound from Georgia to Maine from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Mount Katahdin, Maine. So thrilled that you're along with us for this journey. Today is day 49 and we're expecting some storms and hopefully we still get some good views. Let's keep hiking northward. Right now I'm thinking I want these clouds to go away so that I can see the views in the Blue Ridge Parkway. And if tomorrow is supposed to be nice, I'd rather wait until tomorrow and slow myself down so that I don't miss the views that are out there. Well, I just looked and uh, it's supposed to be cloudy and showery like this today and tomorrow. So. I'm kind of out of luck unless I hold up for like two days until Saturday when it's supposed to be sunny again. So I think I just gotta push north and if I can't see anything at all these viewpoints along the parkway, I guess that's just the way the trail is sometimes. We are now leaving the section maintained by the Roanoke ATC and entering the section maintained by the Natural Bridge Appalachian Trail Club. Okay, new section. We have reached Black Horse Gap. The uh, Blue Ridge Parkway is apparently right over here. Huh. Somebody lost a key. There it is. This is the Blue Ridge Parkway. That's cool. It's certainly very windy and foggy. You can't see anything. Wow. It's definitely not the time to be a hero. Weather up here is not great. And uh, I'm toying between calling a shuttle to get back down the town or just trying to push to Boblet's Gap and just holding out there for a while. I'm looking at my hourly and there's a 80% chance of thunderstorms between 11 and 12, which I'm not excited about. 
So I just came down out of here, mile 97 in the Blue Ridge Parkway, and uh, where does the trail go from here? I guess it comes out to the, into the overlook here, which is Teller Mountain Overlook, but I've really got no idea here. I can't see a thing. The wind's picking up, and uh, like I said, thunderstorms expected soon. Taylor Mountain! Ah, the weather here is getting really, really bad. You hear that wind? It is not the day to be a hero. I'm sitting on this bench next to the Blue Ridge Parkway trying to get back to Beach Hill Hostel because uh, conditions are really deteriorating out here and uh, there's thunder in the distance and I'm on a ridge. So I could try to walk the additional 4.5 to the shelter, but I think this is gonna come in before, um, before I get there. And uh, it could be dangerous walking on a ridge in the middle of a thunderstorm. Especially in these conditions, I don't even have any views out here anyway. I'm not going to enjoy it. Alright, we're here at Beach Hill Hostel. I wasn't planning on stopping here, but they have two nice bunk houses there. And then they have uh, garbage, recycling, microwave, spot for fridge, plenty of water and uh, storage, you can label things. They have a hiker boxes, space, places, bench, hangout spot. They even have hot chocolate and coffee. So it's, it's nice and cold today, loner clothes and a uh, map here where everyone's from. And uh, in here, we have a nice room where they have breakfast. Now that I am back in Daleville, I have made a basket of things to go home. These which I picked up in the Smokies, which I do not need the extra pair of gloves, nor these extra pair of gloves. The reason I had extra gloves was if my regular pair of gloves over here got wet, then I would be able to have a dry pair to keep my hands warm. But I'm going to keep the one for some cold mornings, but I don't need the extras now that it will be a lot warmer. Um, don't need the extra um, rope for bear hang anymore. Don't need these trekking pole attachments. Don't need extra hand warmers. These add a bunch of weight. As well as some extra cords and headlamp and uh, charger. This is, that, that's heavy in itself. Some extra bags I have not used once. These pants, which I have used a bunch, but not as much now that it's getting to be warmer weather. Plus I have the rain pants I'm wearing now, as well as my green pants, which are my sleep pants that I debated about getting rid of, but they are still in here um, that I can use as an extra layer as well. So I don't need the extra thick pants. And when I hold this, this is like two or three pounds, probably three pounds right here that I'm able to get rid of. Things I was, um, I still have my microfiber towel. It's a quarter pound. Oh yeah, this one I'm getting rid of. This big terror hiker poncho that goes over myself and my pack because I have my pack cover, that green pack cover, as well as my raincoat, which I can use. And I haven't used this as much recently. And that's 0.6 of a pound. So that's adding to that weight that I'm getting rid of also. So that'll really help. Still have my AT guide. I got, oh yeah, I got rid of some of the uh, Sawyer products too. And just keeping the Sawyer itself and the syringe. Getting rid of the uh, Sawyer bags that I've been carrying that I haven't used since I've got this knock bag, which is much easier to use than uh, the, the extra Sawyers. And uh, this is uh, like a 0.4 pounds right there. The only thing I'm keeping that I have never used 
is the, mat, is the whistle and the compass. They also have these Ziploc bags, a lot of extra clean ones that I debated about, but they can come in handy, especially if my tent gets wet, uh, if I have unexpected rain and I can store it in a Ziploc so I can get everything else in my pack completely wet. I was debating about my umbrella. This is the case. Uh, that's the umbrella there, but I did still use it today when it was raining when I was waiting around at the uh, Taylor Mountain Overlook. Still have the mosquito head net, which I have not used yet, but I think I might start using more if it gets really buggy, so I'm keeping that. Obviously my toiletry kit bag, uh, my pocket knife, my lighters and my silverware for eating, and my Luca tape, which I can probably make smaller and uh, cover, make a little less pounds too. This is a quarter pound um, right there. And then still have the camp shoes, the smart water bottles right in here. The tent, Gossamer Gear tent is stored on the other side there. Um, I have the smart water bottle holder. I've taken everything out of um, the top pocket here. And uh, inside the pocket, I just have my stove, my sleeping bag liner, first aid kit. Um, the sleeping pad, which is the orange thing, and then the sleeping bag is underneath that. I do want to keep my liner. I think the liner is good to keep. If it is warm, I can just sleep in the liner uh, or have the bag open and the liner. Plus, if, plus uh, I do enjoy uh, sleep, sleeping with a liner um, on uh, chillier nights because I do sleep cold, so it's nice to have, so I do plan on keeping that. This, by the way, what the bunk the bunks at the uh, Beach Hill Hostel look like. You do get sheets too that you can put on and nice warm blankets. And there's a little uh, heater as well to make it nice and warm as to your desired temperature. It's definitely still raining out there. It's the outdoor shower right there. Right now I'm spending the afternoon sitting here at Beach Hill with the rain outside. Uh, they say Beach Chill is named for all the beach trees on the hill, but they also want you to be chill here. So, the rain's coming in the screen a little bit. Do you see it out there? It's, it's raining. Anyway, uh, I'm using this uh, Kindle, which I got from uh, a, a gift that was uh, given to me, and uh, I'm trying to download some audiobooks, so I'm looking at The God of Wild Places and Only When I Step On It. Uh, the God of Wild Places is about finding God outside of the systemized church and in the wild. So that's something that I'm trying to do out here in the wild is finding God out here. So I want to listen to that book and also Only When I Step On It is an Appalachian Trail book about an Appalachian Trail journey that uh, I've heard good things about um, Peter Conti. So I'm looking forward to listening to that too. I've just downloaded them so I hope that it works on the trail. I've paired my this Kindle with my audio earbuds. So uh, in addition, or if the audiobook on my phone doesn't work out uh, as it has given some issues at some times, then uh, I should have something else to listen to. So that'll keep me mentally happy and energized and uh, reflect with other people even when I feel alone. So looking forward to that. I'm still waiting to get the shuttle to the post office in the town from here, which should happen anytime so that I can mail some stuff back. Uh, they don't need any more like my thick winter pants. I already mentioned it in the video earlier, everything that I'm mailing back that I don't need with the weight. So looking, for, looking forward to getting rid of that and ha carrying a little bit less weight. Four pounds of extra gear going home and out of my pack. Also, I'm mailing things they have for Appalachian Trail hikers. We have little bags here of various goodies. So we have our appetizer from the post office here. Wonderful message and uh, appetizers here. We are back at the Three Little Pigs uh, here in Daleville. So they settled us to the post office from, what's it called, the uh, hostel, the, the be chill, hostel, and I'm with PBJ right here. Cheers. Cheers. We'll enjoy our dinner, my second meal here at uh, um, 
three little pigs. There we go, three little pigs barbecue. And I think it's your first one, right? It is. Yes. So, how many miles did you do today, PBJ? Uh, just under 21. It was very rainy, right? Mm -hmm. Is it windy up there too? Wind wasn't too bad, but it was definitely going a bit. It was it was windy and rainy up at Blue Ridge, and my thought was, you, you live in Virginia, so you, you can come back. But my thought was, uh, just uh, come back. Or I, I don't want to miss the views that I'm going to see in the Blue Ridge Parkway that I would march past in a cloud. Yeah. And who knows when I'll be back here? Plus, the weather was looking kind of dangerous and thunderstorms forecasted, so I was like, eh. But it turned out okay. It did rain for most of the day. Let's enjoy our dinner. Dinner here at Three Pigs. Three Little Pigs. <laughs> and for dessert, of course, we get our free banana pudding for Three Hikers. PBJ is already digging in. <laughs> Never before has there been so much extra space in my pack right here. That's terrific. I can cinch it down all the way. And there has not been this much extra space in my pack since ever. We are out here. It is loud because the highway is nearby. Um, remember where we started yesterday with the highway. Um, but we are out here at the Beach Hill Hostel where they tell us to be chill. Uh, we are ending day 49. Not the way we expected to, but uh, still. Oh, it's raining again. So we plan for a 20 mile day. We did three, it's raining, so I'm going back inside. If you'd like to subscribe, if you'd like to follow along on the rest of my AT journey, please be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you would like to follow along for live updates, follow along on my Instagram account, same handle as my YouTube, at Stick the Eagle. For now, remember to embrace the journey, and always, happy trails.